Hey guys, um, I'm back here today with a tutorial that I promised you guys for the 4th of July wreaths. Um, so what you'll need for this is you'll need some of the deco mesh. Right now Dollar Tree has red, white, and blue deco mesh. Um, I didn't get any of the small red because I have tons of red that I need to use up. Which is why I'm using these bigger rolls that I have here that I got on um, clearance after Christmas. I think at Walmart. So I'm using that red. Dollar Tree also has the red, white, and blue deco mesh that's together. So if you wanted to make it out of this, which I have made um, a couple wreaths out of this now. But I kind of just want to try to use up some of the red I have. So that's why I'm using the red that I have here. Um, so you'll need a wreath ring, of course. This is an 18-inch wreath ring that I'm going to use today. Also found at Dollar Tree. Um, the pipe cleaners here. They're the white pipe cleaners. I believe I got them at Dollar Tree. I folded them in half and then cut them so they're shorter. You can leave them whole if you want to. I went ahead and did this ahead of time because I showed you how to do this on my other deco mesh uh, wreath tutorial. So I'll link that in the description below if you guys missed that one and want to know exactly you know what I did with the pipe cleaners here. Um. You'll want any embellishments that you want to use. I know I'm definitely going to be using this cute little gnome that I found as my centerpiece. And then I also picked up these. It's felt garland and there's stars. So I think I may cut a few of these off to help decorate um, this wreath. So. so we'll just set that stuff aside for right now. And what I'm going to start with then is the red, this wider deco mesh red that I have here. And I'm going to go all the way around with this red. So I'll probably show you some, stop the video, finish it, and then move on from there. I think that I'm just going to do my curls with probably these three. Maybe just these two, but I think I'm going to use this too. So I'm going to save those for the curls and I'm going to make the whole wreath, um, with this red here. So what you want to do is kind of line them up as evenly as possible. And then I just kind of bunch it. You just kind of bunch it like this and then you can start wherever you want to. You can start, um, I, I don't know how it would be to start on the inside edge. I've never done that. I always start on the outside edge, so I'm going to go ahead and put this here. And we'll secure this down with the pipe cleaners. I'm just going to twist it a couple times. And I do pull it down to kind of keep it as tight as possible because I want this to stay in place. It is going to move um, probably no matter how tight you make it. But once you're done, you can hot glue the back to, you know, permanently secure it in place. So I'm just going to bunch to stay into the camera here. I'm just going to bunch up the next section probably about like that. Again, I just estimate if you want yours to be more, you know, like intricate or whatever, you could measure, but I am not doing that. So I'm just going to take this, twist this pretty tight. I'm hoping I have enough of this red. I do have more, but I just like to, I don't like it to run out because then you got to kind of cut it and then hide it. So I'm going to bunch this up here. And then twist that in place. And it is going to look kind of sparse at first. Um, I would definitely use two rolls of deco mesh for this. You could use more if you want to. But once you fill in with the curls, it really fills, you know, the whole wreath out. So don't get too nervous when, you know, it looks like your wreath's really bare. The curls definitely help out with that.
And I'm just going to make another little bunch here. And then tighten it up. So that is how it's looking so far. I'm still on the outside of the ring. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and work this around. And then once I get to the last section where I'm going to move down to the middle row, I'll go ahead and bring you guys back on. Okay, so I'm getting down to the last section here where I'm going to have to move to the inner circle. So this is what it's looking like so far. You know, it's hard to see. So I'm going to finish off this section here with the red. And then once you finish off the outer edge, if you want to cut it off and start the inner ring um, with a deco mesh, you could do that. Or you can just leave it together and just continue on with the inner circle. I literally have no room here. Okay, so I'm just going to bunch this together. This is the last section of the outer circle. And then what I'm going to do to kind of hide this little messy bit here from the very start is I'm going to bunch up a little bit and I'm going to secure it to that pipe cleaner to kind of hide it. And this is like crazy frayed here. That's I'm going to have to cut that. That's that piece from the beginning. All right. So that is the whole outer edge um, done. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start I guess I'll probably start with this one here. And you know, what? I'm going to start with this one here for my second row. And that way when I bring it around, I can secure it there. Well, I'll secure it with the one I started with just to kind of make it a whole. This is easier to do if you're standing up. I'm sitting down right now um, just because the camera is lower. But it's definitely more um, easier to do when you're standing up. And this table is pretty low as well. My, like, it literally kills my back. My kitchen table is higher, so... I should do the, do it, the deco mesh wreaths out there. So I'm just going to keep bunching this red all the way around the inner circle. And you can make your bunches, you know, as big as you want or as small as you want. And this is even filling in the wreath even more after having the second row on. So, again, it is going to look bare for a little bit, but it fills in. It fills in a lot. And depending on how many um, different curls that you do in like one bunch, that really fills it out. I usually do about three or four um, to really fill it out. Now, if you're putting like small embellishments, you might not want to do as many just so you, you know, the embellishments stick out better. All right, so I'm just going to keep, this is how the inner circle is looking so far. I'm going to continue working around the inner ring. Once I get to the end, I'll bring you guys back to show you um, what I do at the end. And then we will start on the curls. Okay, so I am down to the last um, pipe cleaner on the inner row here. And I literally... I'm just going to have enough of this red to finish this. So that worked out pretty good. Now, if you were using it, you know, putting red in with the curls, you would need more then. But I'm not doing that. So 
I'm going to go ahead and attach this last one. And then I'm going to make one more little bunch. I know it's hard to see. I'm going to make one more little bunch um, to connect it with where we started from. I'm just going to make a smaller one just to connect it. Okay, and then I'm going to cut the access deco mesh off. And that is how our wreath is looking so far. Again, it is looking, you know, kind of bare at the moment. But once you get your deco mesh curls in there, it really fills it out. Whoops. And then once you um, glue it in place when you're done, that helps it to kind of stay even and secure all around. So I definitely, I mean, if you definitely plan on keeping it, or giving it to somebody, I would definitely suggest hot gluing the back so everything stays in place. And you can puff these out now or later, it doesn't matter. Or after you glue them even. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. And we're going to bring our deco mesh that we're going to be curling with. So again, I have the white here. I'm not sure which one I should put on top or start with. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put this one like I'm gonna put this one on the bottom. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So I just kinda estimate about how long I think I'm going to want it to be. Again, you can measure it if you want to, to be more accurate, you know, or if you're selling these and you want to know exactly how much, you know, deco mesh you need or whatever, you can definitely measure it. I'm just going to cut a couple of these out. It is better to have these pre-cut just because it goes quicker. Um, because it takes a while to cut these curls because you need quite a few. So I'm just going to cut a couple up here and then I'm going to show you how to attach the curls onto the wreath. And then I'll probably, you know, get some done off camera. So that way you're just not watching the same thing for 20 minutes straight. So I cut, I cut four of the red, white, and blue. So I'm going to cut four of the blue and then four of the white. I'm hoping this shows this blue shows up pretty good because this is really pretty. It's the first time I've ever seen the dark blue at Dollar Tree. I've seen the light blue, but okay, and the white. So I'm gonna cut four of these, and I do try to you know make them about the same length. I mean, if you wanted to make one color, you know, longer than the other, you could do that. But you definitely don't want them too short. You definitely want them to curl. So it gives it, you know, a cute, a cute look to it. All right, so I have four of the white now. Okay, so deco mesh sticks to everything. So I'm going to move these out of the way for right this second. Um, just one second. Okay, so I made a little bit, a little bit of room here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these red, white, and blue ones. 
and just kind of roll it into a curl. And I think I'm going to put this one on the bottom of it. And then probably, I don't know if I should do the white or the blue next. Let's probably do the white. I mean, you can always, always alternate, you know, do it this way, do it reversed for the next curls. It's whatever you want to do. So if I had red here, then I would make a curl with red, but I don't really want any extra red since my wreath is completely red at this point. So let's see how that's going to look. I don't know because you can't really see the red, white, and blue. I'm almost thinking we need to add maybe another blue one. Let's see how that will look. Maybe have it like the red, white, and blue with blue with white with blue. You know, I think I'm going to do this, but I think I'm going to alternate, like have two blue on this one with one white and then on the next one do two white and one blue. I think I'm going to do it that way. So you can start wherever you want to, but as you can see, I kind of bunched the curls up here. I'm going to take the pipe cleaner and kind of pinch the curls in between it and then we're going to twist it just like we did with the red. So that's how that is looking so far. So I think that that is, I think I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, the stucco mesh sticks to everything. All right, so we're gonna take a red, white, and blue one and curl it. We're going to take a white. Oh. It just sticks to everything. Here, let me move this out of the way for a second. Okay, so red, white, and blue, white. And then we'll do a blue. And another white. Because the wreath is completely red right now, I want the blue and white to really... I don't want it to take over, but I want it to be just, you know, as much as the red, pretty much. So. And then we'll go to the very next one, next to the one that we already did. And this, the ones I'm working on right now are on the inner row. The inner circle. Because I'm not sure... If I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to do the whole outer ring in curls. I'm not sure yet. Because, again, I don't want the blue and white to be overpowering the red. Like, we still need to see the red because it's a 4th of July wreath. So, we're just going to see how the doing the inner ring looks, which right now it's looking pretty cute. It's definitely red, white, and blue. It definitely, with the red, I was feeling like I couldn't really make wreaths, um... Because they all looked pretty much too Christmassy if I used the red. But with the 4th of July wreath, I, it's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to continue to work on the inner ring here. And then I'll bring you guys back once I have, you know, a decent amount of it done. And we'll go from there. I just wanted to remind you guys as well, everything that I'm using for this wreath, I did find at Dollar Tree. Um, I showed them showed everything in my hauls. Um, I think yesterday is when I posted that. So everything that I'm using today is from Dollar Tree. Um, even the pipe cleaners are from Dollar Tree. So this is an entirely Dollar Tree wreath that we're making today. This is how it's looking so far. So you can see that the curls do really, you know, fill that in. So I'm still working on it. Almost there. 
I want to know why I just lied. <laughs> um, everything was from Dollar Tree except the red, which I had said at the beginning. It's from Walmart. I don't know why. I just went off on a tangent. <laughs> so everything's from Dollar Tree except the red. The uh, red deco mesh. So I'm wondering if these stars are going to look good or if it's going to be too much because the gnomes pretty much take up the entire center of the wreath form so I don't know if the stars are going to be too much or not we're, we're going to try it and see I'm not going to like glue anything on or make anything permanent just yet but the gnomes definitely going in the center I'm just not sure about the stars we'll figure that out Okay, so I made it to my last curl of the inner section. Um, this is two. So this has two whites. This has two blues. <laughs> so we're just going to make this one. We'll make that one too, the red, white, and blues. So the, this blue is really pretty, by the way. The dark blue from Dollar Tree. It's super pretty. I would like to do just an entire wreath with that blue. I don't know what else I'd put on it, but it's really pretty. Okay, so this is the last set of curls for the inside. I'm still not sure if I'm going to do the outside or not. I'm going to hang it up on the door and see what it looks like. You know how it looks right now. But, you know, it's hard to see, but that is the wreath. And if you do, you know, put the curls on the outside, it helps fill in as well, so. But that does look pretty cute, and it's kind of hard to see because of the lighting and everything, but. So just continuing on with the things that I'm going to do them for sure wanting on this is the gnome. There's like a little mark on there. Okay. So I definitely want him in the center of this wreath ring. So what I'm probably going to do, let me take this tag off. I don't know if I'm going to use the string that it came with. Probably at least for now. So I'm going to flip this over. And then I'm going to pick um, like one of these spots where it has part of the wreath ring going up and down. And I'm going to secure the gnome onto that section there. Probably with a, a pipe cleaner for right now. I don't know. I kind of want him to hang down though. So maybe use this, the bottom half of this one. Just kind of twist it. And then I want him really sticking out. Like, I don't want him hidden at all. He's not really wanting to stay, so I think I'm going to have to 